All right, this is Mike, and this is a new level I made. It's inspired by the Tony Hawk Pro Skater series, a little skate park I made. Still waiting for it to load. There we go. So, a bit of a trick with this is that I tried using the 3D movement thing. The issue was that he was running around instead of using the board. Well, he was using the board, but it's using a run animation, so I had to swap it out with one of these. Of course, now the issue is that when he moves forward, it's the board's facing sideways. So I'll probably get around to that later. Fix up some of the animations, maybe add some things so we can do like tricks. But for now, to kind of just show off the level a bit. Got this loop in. It's one of the first things I got done. Because I figured, why not? Also, half pipe. Wanted to get some grind rail action in there. I guess the main reason why I wanted to do this was that all my PS2 controls are broken, so I can't play any of my Tony Hawk games right now. Like, I got three, four, both underground games, American Wasteland. Can't play any. No, and I can't play any of them. Can't play any of them at all. Don't got no working controllers, so I figured. Okay, you could basically make anything a little big planet, right? So, what if I just made a skateboarding level in this? Kind of fill the void a little until I can get a new controller. Because why not? And that's how I got this place. Of course, I had to make these transparent. So it'd be easier to see the rest of the stage in the back. I should go down again. Yeah, a bit of a running into the background and foreground there. There we go. We also climb up here. Try this. This little gap I made. Gotta get the jump timing just right to make the big gap. And if you don't want to bother, you could just cross the small gap without even having to press the jump button. Also, I added this little something right here. A bit of a speed booster. It kind of brings you right up to top hoverboard speed. It doesn't make it any faster if you're already at top speed, so... I guess in that way it's somewhat fair. Like, you won't go any faster than you already are if you're already at fast as you can go. I think it's good for that. I'm just gonna head right through this in there. Just a quick shortcut or you could just get to the other side fast. Lots of porters. Cool stuff. And this I kind of just threw in for fun. Is that why not do like a spiral grind rail type thing? Could be cool. This problem with ramps here is that it's a bit hard to pull stuff like this off smoothly. It's because I'm trying to make it look like a curved, like a ramp. There's actually like four different slides just all lined up with each other to. Give this illusion of a curved surface like the sides here. Use some invisible, some invisible floors and some wind stuff. Try to make it look like you're actually going up there instead of just, yeah, kind of like that. 
Doesn't always work, but close as I can get. Sometimes you kind of have to improvise when the game doesn't have exactly what you're looking for. So, I guess that's about it. As far as this place goes, it's not too big, obviously. It barely takes up that much on the meter, really. I kind of just wanted to do something fun, you know? Well, something... A bit of a homage to the Tony Hawk Pro Skater series. Back when that meant something and you weren't expecting some cheap crash, cash grab bullshit like... Pro Skater 5. Honestly, freaking Activision, man. So yeah, that's pretty much my level. Probably just gonna publish it alongside other stuff sooner or later. And just anyone can play it. I guess the I guess that's it. I should get back to working on that Sonic thing, I guess. Just in time for New Year's.